In this video, we're going to keep going through factors that affect acidity. And in this video, we're specifically going to talk about resonance. So we're going to draw out a couple examples here. Let's draw out this example, this alcohol. And then let's draw out this example here. Now remember that acidity is related to the stability of the conjugate base. So the more stable the conjugate base, the more acidic your species is. So conjugate base equals more acidic. So let's have a look at what the conjugate base of each of these species would look like. So we take this alcohol and we were to remove a proton from it, we would get this. O lone pair, lone pair, lone pair, negative charge. And if we were to remove a proton from this species on the right, what would we get? We would get O lone pair, lone pair, lone pair, negative charge with three alkenes here. Now, which of these two anions, these two conjugate bases would be more stable? Well, on the left, first of all, note that they're both oxygens, right? So that, that is no different. They both have the same charge, so there's no difference there. Same atom. So what other factors could affect the acidity? Well, in general, the more you disperse charges, the more this they're going to be stabilized. So, so dispersed or delocalized charges are also going to be more stable. So we look at this molecule here on the left. Note that this negative charge, we can't really do anything with it. It's stuck, it's localized on this on the oxygen. Whereas on the right hand side, we have a negative charge on this oxygen. Through resonance, we can actually start moving this negative charge throughout the ring. So let's move that around. So we could draw a resonance form for this molecule that looks like this. And that means that we'd have now the negative charge actually on this carbon in this resonance form. And we can actually keep going with this. We can, we can move this negative charge around the ring considerably. So this would put it on this carbon. And then we could also put it on this carbon. So there's a lot of different resonance forms available for this anion on the right because of, of resonance. And that means that this negative charge here, sorry, lost my, great. So you can see that we've got four different resonance forms we can draw for this molecule on, on the right which means that this negative charge can be dispersed through four, through a number of different atoms. It's a more dispersed charge. And what this is just a long way of saying is that resonance stabilizes negative charge and therefore it increases acidity. So this alcohol on the right, which we call phenol, is going to be more, more acidic. And this, is, this alcohol on the left, cyclohexanol, is less acidic. So let's look at this in a slightly different example. So if we said resonance increases acidity, OK. So if we compare a. Uh, normal alkane, for example, like uh, let's draw CH3 here. Let's actually make it a little bit more detailed. CH3, CH2, CH3. And if this was to lose a proton, let's say, from the external, the, the end carbon, the terminal carbon, 
we would have a lone pair on this carbon like that. And that would be stuck there. Now, if we had instead a double bond on the carbon, on the terminal carbon, and we were to lose a proton, this would give us CH2 lone pair negative charge. And that would give us this anion, which is in resonance with a different form here. So we could draw this resonance form, CH2, C, and then CH2, lone pair, negative charge, H. And it turns out that this is about 10, oh, 10 to the 7 or 10 to the 8th times more acidic than this molecule on the left. Why? Because we have resonance stabilization. In other words, that charge can be spread out throughout uh, the molecule, not just confined to one atom. And here there is no resonance stabilization. So the bottom line in this video is just that resonance is another factor which can stabilize negative charge. And any factor which is going to stabilize negative charge has, an, has uh, the potential to increase the acidity of, of a given conjugate acid. So just keep that in mind when you're evaluating the acidity of different species that resonance uh, can play a key role in determining the acidity of different species.